Developing in the district this afternoon, police have identified a 14 year old boy who was shot to death in broad daylight. Police say somebody shot Avian Evans yesterday afternoon at the Brookland Metro Station. This happened just before we came on air at 4 o'clock. We have team coverage tonight as police are still searching for his killer. We're going to begin with our Leslie Moreno, who has the very latest on this case from police. Leslie, what are you hearing from them? Yeah, guys, as you mentioned, that victim was just 14 years old. This all happened yesterday, right around this time. As you mentioned, he was identified as Avion Evans. I can tell you we have seen extra officers out here patrolling the area, making sure people feel safe tonight. Take a look at your screen here. Uh, police want you to take a good look at the alleged shooter. These are four different pictures of the suspect. Police are searching for this man here on your screen. He was last seen wearing a black jacket, black hoodie, ripped light blue jeans with black and white shoes. Police say a group of teenagers were involved in a fight on the Metro platform yesterday just before 4 p.m. The suspect who was not involved in that fight pulled out a gun and shot Evans. It's unknown how many shots were fired. Evans was pronounced dead on scene. DC police say special officers were at the station when the shots rang out. Those officers helped others take cover and try to help Evans. We spoke with a DC teacher this evening who witnessed the tragic incident as he was heading home. And again, DC police are offering a cash reward up to $25,000 for any information leading to an arrest and conviction. Guys. Yeah, just another shocking crime unfolding. District. Leslie, thank you. Well, tonight we are hearing from neighbors in that Brookland neighborhood who continue to share passionate pleas about addressing the violence. Our Alexis Wainwright joins us live from Northeast DC to share more concerns from the people who live there. And Alexis, can you give us a sense of, of what they're saying tonight? Yeah, there's been a lot of emotion from people who live and frequent this area near the Brookland Catholic University Station. We want to show you what we've been seeing here today. A heavy police presence. You can see this DC police officer patrolled out here. We've also seen Metro Transit Police on foot and in their vehicles. But despite this increased police presence, we can tell you that there are concerns from people who live nearby. And tonight there is a call for action to put a stop to all of this violence. Now we spoke with a man who has lived in Brookland for 10 years. He was visibly upset during Thursday's news conference by DC police. While police were briefing everyone about the deadly shooting of a teen boy at the Brookland Catholic University Metro Station, the man wanted answers from police about holding juveniles accountable for their actions. Tonight we are hearing from more people who are from this area who say this is sad to see, but the crime has changed the atmosphere in this neighborhood and some have moved away while others are considering doing the same thing. I've seen this neighborhood be turned into a hellscape. This used to be one of the safest neighborhoods in Washington, D.C. This is the best sweet area in D.C. You hear me? Nice, clean, quiet to the generation change. Now again, getting another live look here at the train station. You can see another MPD officer here. This is what we've been seeing all day. Patrols taking different shifts as they monitor this area after a scary situation. Now coming up tonight at five here on WUSA 9, hear from a woman we spoke to who is from this neighborhood and lost her son to gun violence just a few years ago. Also, you'll hear from Ward 5 Councilman Zachary Parker, his response to this and what he's working on in hopes to curb all of this violence. But for now, live in Northeast, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9. You really get a sense for just how fed up, exhausted people are with this just completely senseless violence. Alexis, thank you.